So this is question 7 from practice test 1 and we do this pretty similarly the way we do question 6 but there is a bit of a change here. This reaction we're told to be first order. We're still given this partial data table but we can't do it exactly the same way as we did the previous one. So when we look at when we look at this table here what you'll see is that we have a different y value for each of these depending upon what order it is. So for zero order it's a, for first order it's log of a, and for second order it's 1 over a. So what we're going to have to do is look at first order here because we're told it's first order reaction and we're dealing with log of a or natural log of a. So I go back to the, the problem here and you can see that we've got a here. So we're actually going to have to add a little bit of a an extra column here so we can calculate this this extra value here for the logs. Alright, so this is going to be whoops. Let me get the pen in here. There we go. Alright. So we sorry about that. So we're going to add this extra column here and that's going to be ln of a and when we do that we're just taking the natural log of both of those so that would be 1.84 and this one down here would be 0.59. So these become the y values that we're dealing with. The x values are still the time so we're going to still do the slope here and the slope will be change in y over change in x. So it'll be 1.84 minus, minus 0.59 over 19 minus 102. Now this comes out to be negative 0.015 and from there we can see that we can get the that m is going to equal negative k in accordance with that table I showed you earlier so k is equal to negative m which means that k here is going to be 0 0.015 now we still need a unit here so we know that if on the y-axis we've got log of a log of a doesn't have a unit because it's a natural log and then we'll have time here on the x-axis. So the unit here would be 1 over seconds, or if you'd like, 1 slash s. 